Howdy folks, my name is Eric, that's Jordan, with a razor, and this is North American Adventures. For today's adventure, we are in Pinnacle Park. It is provided by the local town of Silva. We have already met a few of the local residents. It is a beautiful, tiny, little rural town here in Northern Carolina. We're going to go uphill first, about 2.3 miles, almost 2,000 feet, and then we'll be up amongst the mountains, and we'll be sort of going from peak to peak for a bit before looping back down and around. It is about 7.4 miles, I think 2,500 feet in elevation gain. So we are looking at beautiful blue skies here today. Very cold and chilly up in the mountains of North Carolina. I'd say it's only like 35 degrees, just over freezing. We've had a couple very cold nights in the car, but we're surviving. Gonna keep going, get on this trail, and get back with you in a bit. We'll be going up the West Fork side first, and then coming down from the East Fork side. So you guys to see that on the way down. We're just gonna pump up these first 2,000 feet. Probably won't film too much, and then we'll get back with you at the top of the ridge line. Stian Charlie Gordon, all over again. <laughs> Alrighty folks, quick update. It's been less than an hour I'd say and we've gone about 1.8 miles uphill. We only have about 200 of those first 2,000 feet left to go. And then we're just gonna be sort of ridge walking all the way to the peak. I'll show you the sign here in a second. So first off, we're gonna be going up to the Pinnacle Peak and then we'll be coming back down and taking the Black Rock way, looping back down towards the parking lot. So let's get back to it. Skipping makes people happy. Huh? Skipping makes you happy. It works, dude. You know happy? Lots of other things. Yeah. I swear, like, if I was having a rough day at work, I would just take out the trash and skip back in. Feeling better already. I mean, you'll definitely get to the house faster. <laughs> Girl, don't know why I came here with these diamonds on my chain. Surrounded by bandages Is it because of my hands are well? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty folks, we are coming a little bit downhill now, just following this little path coming around the corner of this mountain. Since we're in the shadow now, and we're not pumping uphill, we got a little chilly, so layering back up. I'm gonna get right back to it. I think this might be some old man's beard. 
But who's to say? It does feel like it. Quite cool. All of a sudden it's real tight and narrow. Suggests that we're in the right direction. Does it the map say we're only like less than half a mile or so? Wow. We haven't dealt with that before. So like what's the game plan? The game plan is like don't touch the floor, bro. Oh the floor is lava. <laughs> you remember that song? It feels like we're going downhill, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, folks. Finally made it, bro. You're busted. We got the view. J Rock. Keep finding more ledges. This seems to be the final one. Yeah. Sauce so of the apple. The backpack. Almost off the back. Alrighty folks, we have reached the pinnacle, 4,725 feet in elevation. It's quite gorgeous. Wonderful panoramic views all around. We have gone up 3.2 miles so far, so we have about four back down. The loop will extend our way down just a touch, but this hike has been absolutely gorgeous. A bit of a woods walk most of the way, but we've gotten these views here at the top, so well worth it. Highly recommended. I'm not sure I would call it hard though. Maybe moderate is more appropriate, but it is a little hidden gem here at this uh, local town park. We're just gonna enjoy this view for another minute or so and then head on back down. As you can see, there's still a bit of ice in the shaded regions. This is quite a cool crystal formation that's been formed here. Huh. We remember all the times we sat together. <laughs> So, we're gonna head over towards Black Rock, but we're gonna make a southern turn. 
and take the Eastern Fork back down to the parking lot. Should be maybe two and a half miles down from here or so, since we're doing a bit of a loop of it. Catch back with you and be it. Alrighty folks, there was a little more uphill on the back half of this loop. We have maybe 2.6, 2.8 miles left down to the parking lot again. So we're gonna finish up strong, get some beautiful shots as the lighting darkens. We've come to another junction. If you go that way, you can get to Black Rock Peak or Black Rock Mountain. Here we are with the East Fork Trail, as I said. So we're gonna head back south to the parking lot. Let's do it. Campsite, campsite, sunlight, sunlight, yeah! Fisher Creek parking lot, that's where we're headed folks, so we're going to the right. Jordan takes a tumble, volume three. There will be a Greatest Hits compilation coming to you soon, folks. We've made it back to our first junction. Last time we went up that way, and now we've come back down this way. So, quick, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.5 down to the parking lot, and then we're out of here. We did it! Take the keys off my back. Howdy folks, we've been back at the car for about 15-20 minutes now. It's about 4.15, so the hike itself took us about four hours. I imagine about two up and two down or so. It was a nice walk through the woods. Uh, not as exciting or difficult as some of the other ones we've been hitting on our way south here, but absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. The views at the top were spectacular. It's actually surprising how many small peaks there are and large ones all around the area in Northern Carolina. So it almost reminds me of like New Hampshire in that way. But we're gonna be on our way here after we make some sandwiches, try and find a spot to camp for tonight, and then make our way to Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, and we will see you in the next one.